Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Scotland versus Hungary. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Here's how Scotland will line up. Well, it's a 3-5-2, but the key player is the holding midfield player. Not only does he protect the back three, he also is their link-up man when they play out from the back. He has to play well. And tidy defensive play. So Scotland involved in the opening match of the tournament. And that was the case back at the World Cup in 1998 when they faced Brazil. Germany this time for them. And the atmosphere is going to be wonderful if you attend Scotland games. They reckon that around 100,000 Scots will be here in Germany throughout the course of the group stage. If Scotland play at their very best, they can cause a shock here. But they're going to have to defend well. They've got to be organised. They've got to play well on the counter-attack when they get the chance. If they do all those three things, this could be a good game for Scotland. Now, let's see what they can do here. Real chance. Another cut back. Can they forge ahead? No, chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Anthony Ralston might be a chance here chance still on well the post got in the way oh a moment of pure class had to catch it perfectly and didn't he just well here's the replay and just look at his reaction to the initial shot he's so sharp he deserves that goal The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Bendegus Bola. So Bosloy. And they've given him too much space. Oh, great attacking play. And will the cross work out for them? Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Opportunity here for choosing to chip, and it wasn't so very far away. Well, it was good vision, excellent technique, but not quite the end result it deserved. Attila Fiola. So, Bosloy. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? to level the match that is how to keep it out of the net
Trying to really get at the opposition here. Adams. And a goal! Using his head in more ways than one to help the cause. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to improve if they're to get back into the... So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh, he looks threatening. Now well, that'll be a free kick. Deep delivery. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. And taken short. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Delivering it. McKenna. Scott McTominay. And quick thinking defensively. Can they hit on the break? And finally up a cul-de-sac. Jay Adams and good use of advantage the referee allowing play to continue this looks promising and teammates to play it to and everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them Jay Adams Hungary recovering possession well. Vidi Orban. Moving it forward. So Bosloy. Can he do it? There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Andrew Robertson. It's with McTominay. Good effort here. Regain possession. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what...
is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick Long way out. Oh, a glorious save by the keeper. And nothing wrong with that free kick either. Played over. The crossbar got in the way. Well, no way through in the end. Well, that would certainly have put the game to bed. But there's still a bit of time left here. Andras Schaefer. He's in behind. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. And short it is. And a nudge. Played into the centre. And still an opportunity. And a goal! But the keeper has let his team down. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area. And the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Callum McGregor. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. An advantage coming into play, and rightly so. Did well to win the ball back and full time here the referee brings this game to an end well no winners no losers instead a draw what did you make of the scotland performance well Derek, it will feel like a defeat in that dressing room they had the game won and were in control but they just couldn't see it out that's a real blow to them well impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single game and it didn't quite happen for him tonight